Hi guys, this is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus between PoreCon and um, then returning and getting some COVID and I've just been so exhausted. But today I felt refreshed and I wanted to uh, start off on a two foot by four foot ninja swipe. So the color I am using, I literally mixed this up before PoreCon. It is a really, really pale blue, pale teal. Um, and I created that with Artist Loft white paint, a bunch of flow troll. I really didn't measure anything. I'm just really looking for the consistency at this point. Um, because if the consistency is off, this is not gonna work. Um, so I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 13 colors, and then of course the base coat we might use in here as well. Um, I've got my Swiffer Swiper, a spatula, and I have a piggy paddle from Fluid Art Co. I've got one of my smack sticks, and then I also have the Ninja Stick by Spontaneous Creations by Brian. His link will be below. Um, so we're going to give this a top coat and, or a base coat for that matter. Uh, it's been a while. And then, um, we'll get you down with some puddles and flinging things and we'll see how that goes. All right. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've coated the canvas. I've rearranged some lighting and adjusted, uh, your visual view. Uh, so what we're going to do here as, uh, I have a plethora of little tools to use and I've got a little bit of the base in a cup over here. Uh, so we're going to start puddling up some of these 13 or 14 colors. I do have some straw. I did forget my other length of straw at home, I think, huh? Maybe not, we'll see. Anywho, so we're gonna get rolling here and uh, see how this turns out. This color here is Prussian blue. And I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna come in with green flash. I just dipped my finger in the base coat, but that's okay. I wanted like three different greens, so I do have a bunch of greens going on here. Um, let's come in with a little bit of gold. This is 24K gold by DecoArt. And it is slightly thicker than my other paints as I do not want it to spread in the base. All right, that was a salmony pink self mix. This is Nicolazzo gold. I have some Bordeaux red there. Let's get that gold in there one more time. Oh, and I forgot my white. come in with this metallic blue. I love this color. It is so pretty by Master's Touch. It's a pearlized dark blue. And then I added some metallic, I believe it's frost to it. All right, we're gonna come in with the Ninja Stick. Smaller one. All right, let's come in with some dark green. This is sark, uh, sap green permanent. And some white. And I 
I have some manganese by Golden's here. No, I want to. I want to go with white. Actually, <laughs> keep pulling all these colors and then putting them back. <laughs> Too much green there but just I think enough I'm gonna actually come in with the piggy paddle because I love to use different tools because sometimes you get a different effect such as shorter unicorn horns skinnier ones I just like totally covered up that one that is perfect. Uh, I'm like so nervous. Because I don't want to cover that. All right. I like how that turned out. Come. Um, let's skip this for now. Now, what we have to remember is it's all in the details. So it might look like a hot mess now, but it's gonna work itself out in the end. All right, a little bit of the base. All right, let's start with that is everywhere right now. I'm going to leave that like that. I have to go check the floor because I'm kind of concerned. Ah, no, we're good. We're good. I have the floor all protected either way, kind of like taping it off like a Dexter, Dexter kill room. So it's safe. Here's that. Come in with some of this pretty turquoise because I really love the turquoise. I'm going to come in with some purple here. These are almost all metallics. I don't mind. And then I'm going to come in with a blue. Yeah, a little more because why not? Only live once. Let's just throw a little bit of that in there. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's use the, the swiping stick. Now I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes there's just not enough oomph in your initial. I'm gonna do that. I wanted to bring that down. I'm gonna bring this down too. There's just a little too much pink going on there. So I'm gonna tilt it this way. I'm gonna come over there and tilt it that way. 
until all of that really, a lot of those puddles go over on the edge. way kind of recenter everything and what I'm recentering is actually just the weight of the paint because we don't want it super heavy on this side all right this is kind of a monstrosity so I think what we're gonna do is get rid of that all right, so I did not like that glob right there, so we got rid of it. We're just gonna leave it as is because what I can do is actually come in with some paint and fill that void in. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna say enjoy the music because I believe I'll be putting some in. completely forgot to add the cute little droplets. I'm gonna add them to this iris here and maybe up here. Kind of gives a whimsical effect.
too cute. And when they dry, they look so cool. I just put a random couple up here. Because, and a couple up here. Um, there we go. Yeah. All right. Now, the next color I think we'll do is we'll add some white in there. We've got the white, and oddly enough, there isn't a whole lot of white in this piece. They're just fun. So I am teaching at the Fluid Art Boutique and it's going to be in Europe, spring of 2024. Artist lineup is pretty much set and will be released in the next couple of weeks. And then over the, I'm sorry, over the next couple of weeks, I think we're gonna just leave the venue as the very last thing you guys find out. Um, and what else? I don't know. I'm just super excited. Uh, the Fluid Art Boutique is going international and we're bringing a uh, destination of across the pond. So you will have to stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook. It's called the Flu um, Fluid Art Boutique. No, the. And um, we will be coming to a location near you soon. We also have a handful of locations for the US next year as well. And those will be uh, releasing shortly after uh, the release of everything. So, um, with Europe. So, you know, don't make any plans if uh, you want to be going overseas. Um, and you'll be able to see our lineup soon. And we're just, I'm just super excited that this is a uh, thrilled, thrilled actually, that we are able to do this. It's been six months in the making. Um, so I think actually before Santa Fe was even planned, yeah, that would be more than six months. So anywho, it is definitely been a struggle to keep this quiet. And uh, now the cat's out of the bag. So, all right, well guys, I think this is all I'm gonna do. I love it just the way it is. We're gonna come back and look at it when it's dry um, in my next video. Uh, so that I believe is going to be the 31st at six o'clock at night. I'm starting off the Thousand Below collaboration. What this is, is a collaboration of artists that have less than a thousand subscribers. Um, and um, I'm collabing with them. I you know I have over a thousand, but um, you know, it's to help other channels grow and uh, bring highlight to other channels that exist out there. So we're gonna do that. Um, stay tuned in just a second. We'll show you the close up wet results. And then um, later this week, we'll see the dried results. Okay, here we are. I think we're gonna scoop up this and some of this. I mean, oh, look at this. 
yay. Um, and I love what's going on here. So I think I'm gonna scoop those up and put them on a small four by four that I have ready. Uh, but here we go. Here it is. I'm so happy I took that big blob of stuff out of there. And um, these colors are gonna be so vibrant when this piece is dry. And uh, although the Ninja Swipe seems out of control and sheer luck to be able to get what you get when you get it. Uh, it actually just starts that way. It's what you make of it after. I don't typically do brush work after because it's actually perfect um, the, the way I envisioned it. So it's kind of like uh, throwing paint and detail work with intention. And that's what it is. Look at all these twisties. I got these cool twisties. Uh, all right. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Um, and uh, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye for now.